welcome back to the compliance kitchen. I am reading about another withhold release order by the CBP. So let's take a look at it. Uh, this is from October 20th and uh, the CBP issued, like I said, a withhold release order. Uh, this time it is against a company called Supermax Corporation BHD and its subsidiaries uh, this was based on information that reasonably indicated um, they were using forced labor in their manufacturing operations. So the CBP tells us that they identified 10 of the international labor organizations indicators of forced labor uh, during their investigation. Uh, as a result, until the company can prove otherwise uh, effective October 21. So by the time I'm recording this, this is already in effect for a day. Uh, office CBP officers uh, at all US ports of entry will be detaining the product, which in this case is uh, disposable gloves that were produced by Supermax, Supermax Corporation, BHD's wholly owned subsidiaries, Maxter Glove Manufacturing, uh, SDN BHD, Maxwell, Glove Manufacturing, BHD, and Supermax Glove Manufacturing. So by way of background, uh, we have a federal statute, 19 U.S.C. 1307, and this one prohibits the importation of merchandise into the U.S. that was produced wholly or in part by convict labor, forced labor, and or indentured labor, including forced or indentured child labor. CBP detains shipments of goods suspected of being uh, imported in violation of this statute and importers of uh, detained shipments have the opportunity to export their shipments or demonstrate that the merchandise was not produced uh, in violation of the statute. So in fiscal year 2021, CBP issued seven uh, WROs or withhold release orders and two forced labor findings. The International Labor Organization estimates that 25 million workers uh, suffer under conditions of forced labor worldwide, and uh, foreign companies exploit forced labor to sell goods below market value. This, of course, exposes vulnerable populations to uh, inhumane working conditions uh, like physical and sexual violence, isolation, restriction of movement, withholding of wages, uh, excessive overtime. Um, frequently what is found is that uh, the workers were uh, have their passports or ID documents taken away from them and so forth. Um, it also hurts law-abiding businesses uh, and threatens uh, American jobs and exposes consumers to unwittingly supporting these unethical business practices by purchasing uh, products that were produced under these uh, horrendous conditions. So uh, there is a, a system for reporting. So any person or organization that has reason to believe that uh, merchandise um, was produced uh, with the use of forced labor um, and is being imported into the United States can report uh, detailed allegations by contacting CBP through the e-allegations online trade violations reporting system, or they have a phone number also, 1-800-BE-ALERT. Now, of course, if you guys are in the import side of global trade and want to take a closer look at this, I have a link to the withhold release order on this particular uh, company um, on compliancekitchen.com. And also the indicators of forced labor are there, as well as a link to the relevant federal statute.